two, three, going live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's right. It's time for our whole school assembly. I can see that we've got lots of boys and girls here already who want to say a happy good morning. So uh, we've got a, a hi from Najib and from Georgie. We've got one from Maya, Kyra, Max, Isabella. Hello, all you children. Thank you for joining us on our live stream this morning. I can see that Georgie is missing everybody. Phoebe says she misses everyone. She can't wait to get back and see looking around all of her friends. She wants us all to stay safe. Holly would love to wish Mrs. Walton a very happy birthday. Holly, she's got a very snazzy T-shirt on. Mrs. Walton, will you say thank you so we can see your lovely T-shirt? Oh. Thank you, Holly. Hope you like my T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're very sparkly, Mrs. Walton. Hello to Senna and to Bethany and to Bethany and Madison. That's a different Bethany and Lonya and Luan. Good morning. Thank you for all these lovely good mornings. It's very nice. I'm going to make a start. Keep your good mornings coming and I will read some more out shortly. So this morning, I want to talk to you a little bit first about Remarkable Lives because we had some awesome, awesome entries last week and we have managed to send one off. We've managed to send Lily's off to be part of, that's Lily from Aspen class, to be part of the whole trust's voting. And you all get to vote for that this week, so make sure you do vote. There'll be thousands of people voting and wouldn't it be incredible if Lily could be the winner, it would be awesome. So this week, there are some more competitions. So I'm just going to present my screen and show you the two competitions for this week. Here we go. So the first competition this week is health and well-being at home. It's about you working with your families to get creative and think about how you stay healthy and well at home while we're in this really tricky time because it is tricky and we have to look after ourselves and each other now once you've had a bit of a think about it if you want to enter this competition you can make a video which can be up to two minutes long or you can make a poster to explain your idea about how you are improving your health and well-being at home and the deadline for this one is the 7th of may so that's at the end of the week um, and winners will be announced on the 22nd of May. And again, there's some online voting for that one. So that's the second one. Uh, sorry, that's the third competition. The fourth competition is sustainable homes. <coughs> so this is about thinking about how we look after our planet. So reducing waste, reducing the amount of energy that we're using, how we look after land and nature, how we um, reduce plastic usage, how we can go about helping our community. And I know that actually every single person in school will be awesome at this one because this was one of your topics um, before, unfortunately, we had to close. So you might have some ideas for that one. And again, if you want to do this one, you can submit a video up to two minutes or you can make a poster and send that in. Again, the deadline is the 7th of May. Now, those are the two trust competitions for this week. I hope we get some more entries. Teachers, will you please... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's all going wrong. Mrs. Bentley lost her assembly. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. There we go. We're back. Um, teachers, will you make sure that if any entries do come in that you send them on, so put them in that shared drive file so I can get them sent off to the trust as soon as possible. And fingers crossed, we will have a winner. So that's something to keep you busy this week, but we've got something else to keep you busy this week as well. And that's VE Day. Now, your teachers have put some work into your classrooms today, um, linked to VE Day. And if it hasn't gone in yet, I'm sure it will go in at some point this week to teach you all about VE Day and why that is so special. And that is on Friday. Now, we were going to have a really lovely big event in school, but we obviously can't do that. So what we would like to do instead to celebrate VE Day with all of you is to host a virtual tea party. 
So we're going to send you some templates to make some bunting and some flags. You don't have to do it. You can do it if you want. Um, and you can make whatever decorations you want, but we'll send you these templates so you've at least got something. And then you could have a sandwich on your rug in the living room, or you could have a nice drink of juice or some biscuits and have a little tea party all together. Take a picture of yourselves. It might even be nice if you dressed in something red, white or blue or red, white and blue. If you could, that would be even better. Um, and then take a photo and send it into your teacher via Google Classroom. And then we're going to make a whole school video set to a beautiful piece of music and have some really nice VE Day messages on. So that'll be a really, really lovely video that we can all make together. So I hope to get lots of entries for that too. Phew, this is exhausting. I'm going back to my live stream to see who else has joined us. <gasps> Gosh, we've got lots of people here. Ellie Ken says hi. Casey says, happy birthday, Mrs. Walton. Stefania says, hi. Oh, Casey says, happy birthday, Mrs. Walton again. She Thank said, he can't. <laughs> Michelle says, good morning. And Caleb says, good morning. Good morning, lovely children. Thank you for joining us. It is really nice to get these little messages. Right, teachers, on to the good stuff now. Are we ready to do our certificates for the week? Awesome. So we're going to start with Mrs. Dixie. Mrs. Dixie, you have chosen Miss Garner. I have. I've picked Miss Garner this week. She has been using her whiteboard that she got from school and she's been forming her letters and she's been joining in with what her big brothers have been doing in their Google Classrooms too. That's awesome. Well done, Miss Garner. And you've also chosen from the three-year-old nursery, Matty. Yeah, so I pick Matty, so every day his mum sends me pictures of what he's been doing um, and I asked him to go and do a, some, find some, give him some letters and he had to go find things that match the sound and Matty managed to find something to match every single sound I sent, so I was very impressed. That is really impressive, well done Matty, good job. Mrs Blade, you have chosen Sienna this week. Yeah, this week I chose Sienna because she's been trying really, really hard with all the work that we've been sending home. Uh, Mum and Dad have been sending me emails with loads of pictures of her, and she's been trying hard on doodle maths. So well done, Sienna. Oh, good job, Sienna. Miss Watson, you've chosen Alice? Yeah, I've chosen Alice this week because she's tried her best with all the activities. I think I've had pictures from her mum every single day since we've been doing our home learning. Um, she's on Doodle all the time, getting lots of stars. I think she got 100 stars last week. No way. That is so many stars. Well done, Alice. Good job. Miss Moran, you have chosen the incredible Harry today. I have. Harry's worked so hard. I was particularly impressed with his um, free write he wrote last week. He included all of the grammar we've been, we've been learning. And also, I think he was number one in the whole school on Spelling Shed last week. No way. Really Number impressive. One. Harry, yeah. Number That's one. Incredible. Good job, Harry. Well done. Miss Levitt, you've chosen Leon. I have. Leon has been trying really hard with his work and he's been doing so well on his doodle math as well. But he has been going above and beyond the activities I have been setting him. We were looking at living creatures the other day and what was living and what isn't. He decided to go out in his garden and see if he could find any things that we're living and not, which was really nice to see. That is really good, Leon. I do hope you left the living creatures outside, though, and you didn't bring them in to keep them as pets. I'm sure your mum doesn't want to be finding snails all over your bedroom. Uh-oh. Mrs Bolton, the birthday lady, you have chosen Caleb. I have. Caleb impresses me every single day, whether it's on Google Classroom, Doodle, anything. For example, today he has already completed most of his work this morning and he sent me so many pictures of objects in different positions, which is what we're learning about in maths, and I've seen everything in his house that's all positioned so beautifully tidy. And under his bed there is one box and it is so tidy, his mum must be very happy. <laughs> Good tidying up. So you know who to get to tidy your classroom next time, Miss, then? Yes. Miss Katie, you have chosen Luand. I have. I chose Luand this week because he's just been working so hard. He's been logging into Google Classroom every day. He's been on Doodle Maths and Doodle English. And he's even been sending me extra work on top of all that. So I'm very proud of him this week. Oh, good job, Luand. Well done. Keep it up. Mr Hall, you've chosen Josiah. 
I have. I've chosen Josiah for trying his best in all his work, and he's got the top number of stars in my class, 473. No. He's been trying really hard. Goodness me. Gosh, well done, Josiah. Now, Miss Furnace isn't with us today. She's feeling a little bit poorly. She's okay. She's just got a tummy bug. Um, but she has chosen Alfie this week. And she's chosen Alfie for joining in really, really hard and doing his best in Google Classroom. So well done, Alfie. Miss McFarlane, you have chosen Jack. <laughs> She was here at the start of assembly. I can see she's still here. I wonder if she's having problems with her microphone. We'll just give her 30 seconds more. Miss McFarlane, if you manage to get back on, send me a message in chat and I will let you know. You can then pop on. Miss Patel, you've chosen Deanna. I've chosen Deanna. I could have chosen Deanna for a million reasons. But one in particular was from last week. The children to invent their own god and to explain what they were the god of. And hers was just beautiful and it made me happy. It was a god that makes people happy. I'll send it to you later. Whenever I felt a bit sad last week or a bit tired, I had a look at it and it just brought a brand new smile to my face. Oh, well, that's exciting. And you've got a very nice smile this morning, Miss Patel. I would love to see that piece of work. Well done, Deanna. Good job. Miss Marshall isn't with us today either. She's not feeling so good, but don't worry, she is okay. Um, Miss Marshall has chosen Lauren this week. And she's chosen Lauren for giving the Google Classroom and Doodle her full dedication. She says she tries all the time, even if she has some technical problems sometimes. She gets all the work done on paper and sent in. She's doing a great job. So well done, Lauren. Oh, Miss McFarlane says her microphone isn't working. Oh, hang on, Miss McFarlane, I've lost your chat. This is why she's chosen Jack. She's chosen Jack because she set Aspen class the challenge to create a family meal with a five pound budget and Jack did a great job. Well done, Jack. That is actually one of our curriculum objectives that we teach in school all of the time. And sometimes I wonder if our grown-ups at home we don't know about all of the amazing things that we do do in school. We do a lot of work on cooking and budgeting and things like that. Children are awesome. Mrs. O'Carroll, have you have chosen Frankie? Are you there, Mrs. O'Carroll? I am. I'm here. Um, yeah, we have chosen Frankie for being awesome last week. He came in every day, did exactly what he was asked to do, made everybody really pleased, and he really deserved it this week. Fantastic news. Well done, Frankie. Thank you, Mrs. O'Carroll. Right, I'm just going to go back and do a couple more shout outs because we've got some more people on. Paige says good morning. Matthew says hi. Paige also says happy birthday, Mrs. Walton. Thank you. <laughs> Anna says good morning. Alex and Alcione say hi. Charlie says good morning to everybody. Gracie says hi. The Brennan family have written me a very long message. Let's have a little look. They say happy birthday to Mrs. Walton. Hi, yeah. Mrs. Walton. Hi to Miss Watson. Hi to Miss McFarlane. Oh, and then I've run out of space. The message is so long, it won't fit on my spreadsheet. I'm guessing they want to say hi to everybody. Um, Harry says, yay, because he won. Well done, Harry. Good job. Archie says hello as well. We've had lots of children join us this morning. How lovely. Right. I'm going to sign off in one moment. Oh, Simon says hi. He's snuck in at the end there. Well done, Simon. Hi. Um, I'm going to sign off in a minute. Children, you've done a great job. Keep up the hard work. Remember, there are two remarkable live competitions this week. There's also the um, VE Day picnic thing. If you could get that done, that would be awesome. And then we can really show our thanks for everybody that protects our country. That would be wonderful. You are all incredible. Please stay safe. I've got an extra little sneaky hi from Victoria and a happy birthday, Mrs. Walton from Ellie Ken and Jan. Thanks. You need to stop sending me messages now, children, otherwise we're going to be Right then, stay safe, please. Look after yourselves, and I hope that we see you all really, really soon. Take care. Teachers, say goodbye. Bye. 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 Take care, everyone. Goodbye.